Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today in this tutorial, we are going to create this environment. Let's import a character to set up the scale for our environment. So go to generate and uh, get brush. Here in the modeling, you'll see this uh, sculpting base mesh and go to biped. Let's select any mesh and drop it in the viewport. Close it. And here we have our character. So I've already set up this grid to work with Unreal Engine. You can watch that process in the previous video on the channel. So let's start blocking out the environment. We'll start with the walls. And for that, I'm going to take a cube. Bring it here and to this side. So I have created a wall here. Let's create a duplicate and place the other one here. Let's make sure they are on the equal distance from the center of the grid. So let's select this one and go to your attribute editor and look for the translate X. Let's keep it minus 300 and select this one and keep it in the plus 300. Now let's create the floor. So duplicate it again and rotate it like this. Go to front view and align it here. And go to vertex mode, select these vertices and align them here. like this now let's uh, select everything except this character and uh, move it up a little bit like this so we have blocked out this corridor maybe the walls are a little bit too big let's uh, Let's go to front view again and select this floor then modify and center pivot and scale it like this and select these walls and bring them closer Now select this floor and create another duplicate to create the ceiling and go to front view. Press V to snap it to the vertices and pull it up like this. So we have created the wall ceiling and the floor. Now let's create this pipe here and take a cylinder. Go to front view, pull this up. Go to front view, bring it up here and rotate it. Now increase the radius. To 
to 30. Now let's go to the face mode and select half of these faces and delete them. Pull it up and align it with this ceiling. Now go to top view and in the vertex mode, enable your wireframe and select these vertices. Press V and drag it here and select the other ones and drag them to this side. Now go to face mode again and select these faces. Right click and select similar to select on the other side. Then delete. Now press shift right click and go to this connect tool. Select this edge and increase the segments to 6. Now go to edge mode and select this edge and scale it down just a little bit to add some variation in this pipe. And maybe this one. Now what we need to do is take insert edge loop tool and add one edge here. Now go to face mode and select these faces then duplicate. Now select these faces and then modify center pivot. Go to edge mode select this edge and this one then press shift and scale them in the x axis like this. Now go to object mode and extrude. Add a little bit of thickness. Now press shift D and put this one here and uh, press shift D again to create duplicates with transformation. Now let's create these wires. So go to right view. And if you're using Maya 2022, then go to create and take a curve. And add curve like this. Now select this curve and go to create then select this sweep mesh tool. And here you'll see this pipe. Now again select this curve. Go to control vertex select this vertex here and pull it down. Like this. Select this one pull it down. Also this one. So we have created this wire here. 
maybe let's extend it a little bit more select like this point select this uh, control vertex uh, now you can uh, select this one and go to edit then delete by type history and select this curve then delete it go to print view and uh, modify center pivot put it like this select these vertices and enable the soft selection and pull it this side like this now select this tube and create a duplicate go to top view and wireframe mode press x and snap this here just like this so we just created these wires and they are a little bit high poly so we need to reduce some of these polygons just select them and uh, press shift right click and uh, select this reduce click on this option box and reset everything first then keep the reduction method to percentage and uh, keep the percentage to 90 and also preserve score keep it to 1 and click on this reduce now you can also increase percentage from here and 95 looks much better so let's do the same for this wire select it and shift right click go to reduce and change the percentage to 95 So that's it for today and in the next video we are going to model the door and the lights for this environment and then we are going to unwrap all these things to texture and i hope you liked this video and if you did then you can subscribe to the channel you can also join my discord server and follow me on the instagram you can find all the necessary links in the description so that's it and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching